All right, y'all. So today I've been tasked with making a Mozzie type beat. For those who don't know who Mozzie is, you probably living under a rock. But for those who do know who Mozzie is, y'all know that he likes that dark West Coast gangster. I'm not gonna hold y'all any longer. I'm gonna just get straight into it. Hey, so if y'all learned something from the video, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Let me know what y'all wanna see next. Consider subscribing. I might do these more often. Um, let's get into it. All right. So for a Mozzie type beat, we're gonna start with off with the BPM. Uh, the BPM is going to sit around like 90, anywhere between like 86 and 96 is a, is a reasonable BPM. And we're going to start off with the piano. First things first, I'm going to drag in my scale. Um, you can, you can download these in the description. I'm going to leave them there. So now let's get a piano and get a pattern down. Get the splice tool. Splice. I said splice. real quick <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. control B to duplicate your notes now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like ramp the velocity um, all you do is just control click and to highlight all your notes and then go to like the end note and um, right click so you see this little little thing right here and then just go like this to bring your like your velocity down. So when it plays, it's gonna go up. Kind of like a roll. Um, control B to duplicate. I think I'm gonna use this whole pattern. Now to stop it from sounding repetitive, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add bass notes. So. It's just gonna be like an octave down from you know these ones right here, just so it kills the repetition of the melody. I'm gonna humanize my piano by doing that um, control uh, click all your notes click alt R um, and this velocity knob is what you're gonna be messing with just to give it more like a like a human play so I'm just gonna sound too like robotic now i'm gonna add in the lead all right so i got this lead and expand it's called theremin theremin i don't know however you pronounce it it's a soft leads it's right there expand all right so we just gonna get a pattern down pull up a synth bass i'm gonna grab one from omnisphere all right so i got this bass in omnisphere the synth bass is called throwback rezo bass what i'm gonna do to it before i even lay a pattern down i'm gonna go into here and this is what i like to do to give it more of a like a different sound i like bringing all these just these three down and um now we can get a pattern down all i'm gonna do for the bass is i'm just gonna follow the root note of the pianos if you have like ghost notes like these and you can't see the pianos all you can do is you know go in here and click shift d to shorten all these notes and now i can see my bass notes and now i can get a pattern down and i'm just gonna bring the velocity down just a little bit by alt click like once on the the scroll wheel all right let's get a pattern 
said I'm going on off the bass notes and these are clearly not on the bass notes. I'm just adding those for variation. All right, there you go. I think I'm going to add a vocal and I think we'll be done with the melodies. All right, so I found this this kit in um arcade uh, it's called Distant Voices. The kit, like the sub kit, is called Spectral. We're gonna find like a pattern. Um, first thing, we're gonna put this in key, just by clicking this and clicking your key. It's C minor, at least for my beat, because I dragged in the scale. So now we are gonna find a vocal for our melody. <laughs> That sounds cool, but you know the vocals kind of low. So what we're gonna do in arcade is um we're gonna open it up. We're gonna go right here and this octave right here. We're just gonna bring it up one. Um, it's just gonna bring the vocal up an octave or down depending on what you wanna do. But in our case, we're gonna bring it up. So now it sounds like this. Alright, so now that we got all that, we're gonna get into the drums. Um the drums are fairly simple, just regular bouncy drums, nothing crazy. So let's get it. For my kicks, a lot of people always ask how I get my kicks knocking. Get a punchy kick, normalize it if you need to. And um, let, let me just put a kick pattern down real quick. So now what I do for my kicks is 
I raise all the velocities. That's one. And what I like to do is hit Control A to select all, hold Shift and click, and duplicate them down to like right here. So now you know it sounds sounds like this. And then what I like to do is I like to go into my sample and then just bring this up to like 120. I don't know why I do it, but it, it sounds like it knocks. Oh, and another thing, soft clipper on the master, that is mandatory for every FLP in order to get them knocking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add an 808 to this. Um, it's going to go along the synth bass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the synth bass into the mixer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the low end of the synth bass. All right, so now that um we got the EQ up, I'm going to click and I'm going to get, I want this curve right here, okay? And then I'm going to drag these points down till it's four. So I'm just going to take the low end to the point where it's a little noticeable where the 808 will fit, but you're not going to, it's not going to take too much out. <laughs> Okay, so now that we got that, so what we're going to do later is, I'm going to show you guys, uh, we're just going to automate this EQ, so whenever the 808 is not hitting, then, you know, we can have the bass in that synth bass, so just cut itself right here on the 808. All we're just going to do is, you know, highlight the synth bass, control C, go over the 808, control V, and we're going to click in, and we're going to bring it up an octave, and we're going to raise all the velocities. So now this is going to sound like this. Um, let me change the kick out of that. That's pretty much good for the beat. Uh, I'm gonna lay it out real quick. So right here, you can click the pattern, click split by channel, and then um, click your first sound, then hold shift and click your last one to select them all, and then just drag it into your timeline. So I'm gonna lay this out. Um, I know I sped it up last time in my last tutorial. I'm not gonna speed it up on this one. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave like a, a time marker where you can skip to the end of the the beat i don't know but uh yeah so i'm gonna just lay this out real quick and add some risers so we're just gonna control b to click them um i'm gonna get it all the way right here and then we're just gonna start deleting sounds so we're gonna start off with the piano oh, let's hit song <laughs> forgot to put the hold up on the 808 so how we do that just click the sample click this we're gonna bring the attack down bring the hold all the way up turn down decay sustain and release 
and now we're going to connect all these nodes by control l i i don't know why i forgot that but yeah so let's get back into laying this out Now I'm going to show you guys what I mean by when the 808 and the synth bass hits. So we're going to go back into our mixer. The EQ that we have here for the synth bass, we're going to turn it down. And what we're going to do is create an automation clip by right clicking and create automation clip. Now for where there's parts where the 808 is not lined up with the synth bass, we're, um, we're going to leave it down. So when the 808 hits, we're just going to create points and, you know, so the, the low end of the synth bass will go away when the 808 hits. So, for example, like right here, the 808 and the synth bass clashes, we're going to right click, drag a point, and since it hits all the way through here. So we want this EQ to be active through this section of the beat. So, you know, it, it doesn't clash together. So if you like, if you hear what, what this. <laughs> Like you can kind of hear that you can kind of hear the bass right here in the synth bass so now we're just going to do this for every section that has the 808 and the synth bass hitting um and pretty much after this you know you can do like a like a volume fade or like this is pretty much like the last step other than um Adding like your effects is mainly like a triangle riser. Yeah, that's pretty that's pretty much it for the Mozzie type B. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So we're just gonna add in these effects real quick just to show y'all what the deal is. So like you can get it in you know my drum kit. Um link in description. Let's push this down to like six hundred. And then we're gonna stretch this to one bar. And turn this down a lot. And that shit loud. So so yeah man um that's pretty much it for the mozzie type beat uh if if y'all learned something you know leave a like uh, leave a comment of what y'all want to see next i think i think the next tutorial i want to get down is a is an nb nail tutorial um i think that's going to be next on on the list but yeah, man, consider subscribing. Um, it lets me know that y'all like these type of videos. So yeah, I'm out. And uh, one more thing I forgot to mention. I didn't mix this beat because I feel like I should make a different video, a whole separate video that's dedicated to mixing. So if y'all actually want to see me mix this beat specifically, if y'all want to hear 
and see how I mix. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know.